This is the skill training program for James Leverett and Liam Rayworth. We've selected the golf drive. <laughs> to give you guys a good example of a good golf drive, we've pulled a few strings and brought in our mate Rory. Good to uh, get even further into double digit under par land. There's a big hole today back. Thanks for that, Rory. To show you what not to do, we've got our other close friend, Basketball Hall of Famer, Charles Barkley. working on that one mate. For our training program I've taken on the role of coach and we've got Liam as the learner. Completion of the program we are hoping to see improvements across the board including skill technique, coordination of movement and shot accuracy including a measure of distance. To meet these goals over a five week training program which will include coaching by myself and drills aimed at improving shot technique. For our testing procedure we encompass both qualitative and quantitative measures to assess the skill. Liam has never performed this skill before, it places him in the cognitive stage of learning. However, he has performed some skills involving a swing component, such as cricket and baseball. The cognitive stage involves understanding the nature of the skill from different sources, but also involves numerous gross errors and learning from mistakes, as seen in this pre-test footage. Test Liam's motor performance of the skill through both qualitative and quantitative measures. Qualitatively, we focused on improving the technique of the fundamentals of the drive. This included stance and grip. Quantitatively, we assessed Liam's progress by ranking shots from one to four, aiming at hitting a target at a predetermined distance. This is the round swing drill. This drill aims to simplify the skill while focusing more on the swing component. With a normal swing, the learner is required to complete a backswing, swing and follow through. With this modification, the learner first swings the club as they would with a follow through, but continues around to where the club would be after the backswing component. This enables them to focus more on the swing part of the skill with the club effectively starting in the swing position. This drill is called the baseball drill. It is done to reduce the out to in swinging motion that often occurs in beginners. In the golf swing, we want the body to turn on a nice, smooth, circular motion. This drill helps by giving the learner a good sensation of how the shape and the path of the swing is meant to feel like. It incorporates a swinging across a horizontal axis like a baseball player would and then gradually lowering the swing to hit the ball as seen in the footage. These two pictures show the change in my feet position for my stance. On the left, you can see my feet are placed unevenly. When a club is placed along the lines of my toes, it gives an indication of what direction the ball is going to. On the right, it is clear to see how my feet position changed over the five week period. They are now even, and when a club is placed along my toes, it shows the ball will be aimed at a much better angle, allowing me to reach the target more easily. This was also reinforced throughout the sessions with a club often being placed across my toes to make sure my alignment was in order. Here we can see another key point in the golf drive being changed over the program, this time the grip of the club. Initially, Liam holds the club with his hands apart and unevenly placed. Over the program, he was able to adjust his grip to what is shown on the right. Although this may seem relatively easy to adjust, it is, he reported that it initially didn't feel comfortable and did take some getting used to, especially at the beginning of the early sessions as he would automatically pick it up the old way. The post-test results highlighted changes in the performance from a qualitative point of view. For our novel context, we swapped the drive that Liam had used for the duration of the program with a 3 iron. Using this club requires an extremely similar swing technique, however the dimensions of the club are different and Liam was also hitting off the ground where he would usually have a tee. For this test we also used a shorter target length as the club is generally used to hit a shorter distance. In this footage we can see that Liam is using his learned swing technique 
but due to the factors that have changed, she still makes errors. The results shown for the novel context test show that learning has taken place as there has been an increased accuracy in Liam's shot from the pre-test results. Liam's shot, however, was less accurate than his post-test results as the combination of using a three iron and also hitting off the grass rather than a tee was new to him. Through the graph, it is evident there has been a change in performance. Post-test results show an increase in average shot accuracy, while the novel context shows Liam has been able to grasp the motor skill to an adequate level. This training program supports the dynamic pattern theory, which is based on the notion that learning is non-linear, but dynamic in nature. This was seen through the decrease in my performance after initial coaching from James focused on my technique of my golf drive. The initial decrease in my performance was then followed by a sudden spike in my performance. This spike in my performance can be attributed to the self-organization throughout the golf swing, thus showing that my learning was non-linear and had some dynamic properties throughout the training program. As a result of the training program, I've become more proficient in detecting errors in my golf drive, and this has given me a lot of confidence in actually performing the skill. Learner, my overall experience was a good one. Throughout the program, I could feel myself getting progressively better at the skill. Strengths of our training program include the use of augmented uh, feedback at the beginning of the training program, and also the use of simplifying the skill in practices and the segmentation of the skill, so that myself, Liam, could properly grasp the fundamentals of the skill better. One. I think this training program has been a successful one. Mine is the use of five mechanical aids. As learning has actually taken place, this has been through a relatively permanent change in my own performance of the skill. Overall, as a coach, I found this to be a great experience. It was good to work with a learner such as Liam, as he had some experience with the swinging sport, so there was transfer of skill going on. It was good to see him learning as well, as shown in the results earlier. I think it would have been beneficial to have a longer program, up to 10 or 12 weeks, as this would allow more time with Liam and you'd be able to see even better results in post-tests as well as retention tests and transfer tests.